The Department of Corrections has yet to release any details of the staff assaults that happened at the state penitentiary. The Inspector General of Correction tells KTV News Watch 7 that four staff members were injured in what he called multiple events. He is still getting reports, but several inmates were involved. It's unclear whether the attacks were coordinated. Well, I mean, it's certainly concerning. And, Laura and Ebke, who it, chairs the legislature's Judiciary Committee and a new Corrections Oversight Committee, says she was told by the Inspector General and another staff member the injuries were not serious. That there was one that was, you know, probably unconscious for a, a bit. She says as of Monday afternoon, she had not been notified of the incident by Department of Corrections officials. I'm not sure that that rises to the standard of call me right away. Omaha Senator Bob Chris has served on several prison oversight committees. He told me Monday afternoon he's concerned. It appears Corrections is no longer notifying senators about serious incidents or posting information on its website. Chris said, quote, what are we trying to hide or disguise? When a state employee is hurt and that is not reported, that is dangerous grounds. Corrections officials also did not respond to inquiries by KTV News Watch 7 last week about a fire at the Tecumseh prison on May 25th. The inspector general is also investigating that incident and says it appears an inmate who was released into a mini yard instead roamed free in a restricted housing unit and at one point started a fire. Why is somebody wandering, you know, wandering around without supervision? Ebke says the special committee plans to tour all 10 correctional facilities over the next several months, starting with the state pen and prison in Tecumseh. We got to protect our staff and our staff shouldn't be worried about coming to work every day. In Lincoln, Andrew Ozaki, KETV, News Watch 7.